And Walter residents that we spoke with say they were horrified at what they saw when they looked outside of their windows. They were drifting, there was people in cars, there's people dancing outside of cars. It was just out of control. Just dangerous. Too shaken up to show her face on camera, one resident describes these videos she took. Honestly, it's probably 500 kids and they're definitely it didn't seem like there was one adult out there. The middle school, high school ages, just out of control. Several Philadelphia police officers were injured after a night spent trying to break up large crowds. It all started around 8 p.m. on Saturday. Officers worked to disperse crowds at five different locations around the city. It all culminated on the 1300 block of Broad Street in North Philadelphia, where around 500 people gathered just before 2 a.m. Video from the Citizen app shows car after car doing donuts and the crowd blocking the street until patrol cars move in to break it up. The people that live in the city of Philadelphia, the communities, are mm -hmm. starting to feel that this is the norm here, mm -hmm. that the lawlessness is the norm, that they can do what they want, uh, and there's no repercussions. FOP President John McNesby is calling on elected officials to address this illegal behavior. It's, it's lawlessness, and we need to get the city back. Police say an officer broke his ankle when he was struck by a vehicle that got away. The officer was taken to Jefferson University Hospital where he was treated. According to police, other officers were also injured while trying to disperse the crowd. They were all treated and released. McNesby says the police department is understaffed. We're down 1,500 people. We can get these uh, outbursts like that happened last night. In a statement to Action News, the mayor said car meets are disruptive, reckless and often dangerous, which is why the police department has assembled dedicated teams of officers to monitor and address these events. The mayor also sent wishes for a speedy recovery to those injured officers. Investigators have not released any more information on the crowds. Reporting live at police headquarters, Katie Catro, Fraction News at 10 on PHL 17. Walter. All right, Katie, thank you.